Hi, this is Sandy Putsch from Sandy Putsch University. Hey, I thought I'd just take a couple minutes and do a little photo critiquing today. Uh, thank you so much for our Sandy Putsch University uh, students. This has been so much fun. One of my favorite aspects of the university is that I get to personally critique your work and share a little bit about how I feel and what you can do to improve. So thank you so much for taking the time to post those images and having the courage to do so. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. And uh, we want to give a big thanks out to Heather for posting these maternity images today. Heather, I'm going to go ahead and give you an idea of of what I think and what we think we can do to improve and what you've nailed. Now the first image you've got a beautiful mom and she's uh, out in the forest and she's got a lovely cr uh, cream colored top on. She's doing the little heart pose. Now a couple things about this. First of all, your exposure looks good. Your color balance, color calibration is slightly off. You can see a little bit of yellow and green in her face. The reason that's happening is you are out in the forest and there's green everywhere. So it's important to shoot that target or a gray card or white balance your camera. It's not bad, but you can definitely see it along her arm in the shadow areas or under her eyes. Any time we're in the shadows, you're getting that green cast. Uh, some of that can be controlled with white balance, but overall her skin tones look good. Now as far as her expression, she's beautiful. You've got great catch lights. I love that you've been able to balance a little bit of fill flash or reflector with the natural available light. It definitely has a really beautiful dark look to it. Um, you've got hair light, which is great. You've got a little bit of sun coming through the leaves that are giving her just enough hair light to give it a little pop. Uh, the only thing really, I mean, having her fully dressed, obviously out in the forest, you're not going to do nudes, uh, usually. But uh, having, uh, the one thing I do want to mention is that little heart that you have going. It's not quite in the heart position. Instead of, ouch, um, instead of having a little heart, uh, it looks a little more round. And so I would say just work those thumbs down a little bit just to get that true heart feel. But overall, super cute shot. Um, other than a slight color cast, this is totally a sellable image. All right, now let's go to image number two. This is mom laying down uh, in the forest. Now, obviously, being pregnant, it's hard to find a comfort zone there. I mean, you're a little uncomfortable with that baby, and, you know, mom's definitely going to be, it's going to be a little awkward here, but I think you pulled this off pretty well. She has a very fashion-y feel to her, even though she's uh, very far along in this pregnancy. I'm guessing seven or eight months. Uh, you did a really nice job. That front knee up is very helpful. Uh, it gives it a little more of a slight body, uh, sort of a, a scaping position where if that leg were down, it would really put her in an awkward position. So that just give, gave her enough stability and enough flair to see the tummy, but it didn't totally take away. Now in this image, um, you're using some uh, different filters and, and options that are giving you sort of that antique feel. And I think it, looks, it works really well for this. It has sort of a 1970s feel to it. I think it's nice image looks a little underexposed. I can see in the highlights, or not in the highlights, in the shadows, her hair, there's a little pixelation in there. That could be two things. It could be your image was underexposed, or it could be filters and overuse of filters and things like that. So it's not bad, and in this case it goes with the image, but that is something to consider is, you know, making sure that you're nailing those images dead on in the camera, then adding those filters so you don't lose the contrast. Now our next image is the same beautiful lady, a uh, young lady, but this time she's got the cute little blue shoes in her hand. This is super cute. Um, I just like the look of this. Couple things I'm going to point out though. You're working in a forest, you've got tons of trees coming in and out, and so of course that's a little bit of a challenge, but you just happen to have put her where a tree is coming directly out of the top of her head, and that's a big no-no in photography. We're always looking for you know, removing objects from coming out of the head. Now, in this case, just moving your camera slightly to the left or the subject slightly to her right, uh, you would have put her in between those branches and maybe given her a little more balance there. So just, I know it's hard with all those trees to find that perfect spot, but that one tree out of her head seems to be very startling. Uh, as far as the tummy, I like how you just kind of tucked up her shirt. It doesn't, looks a little boxy around the chest, uh, around the breast line, but I think it works um, for what you're doing. But what I love is the cute little pair of shoes. It tells, it tells me that she's got a little boy on the way and that she's really excited to uh, have him. And I do love this location shot. So this is actually one of my favorite images. Uh, one thing I want to mention since I can see it is that line that women get between the belly button and um, their lower abdomen area. Uh, there's a strong line that sometimes appears when people are pregnant. And that's something I always get asked, do you remove it or do you not? And, I tend to blend it or remove it a little bit. I just think it's, it's a little, if you've never seen a pregnant body, it can be a little startling. It's not that you have to do that, uh, but typically we will soften it. We don't necessarily destroy it or take it out, but we definitely soften it up a little bit so it's not uh, so much of a distraction. In this case, it's not too bad, but I thought I'd throw that out there for people who sometimes they're very obvious and uh, they could involve hair as well, and that's something that we do try to retouch that out. 
Okay, the last image is spectacular. This one is beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful. You've got a great rich blue sky. You've done some creative artwork with uh, different uh, filters and things like that, actions, and it's beautiful. It really, really comes together nicely. Love the dress. Love everything about the way this feels. It's really hard when you're out on location finding appropriate clothing for uh, women that are pregnant that are going to look great with their bodies and yet flow with the you know the universe outside. Because in the studio it's easy to take fabric and do things like that, but outside you kind of got to rely on the clothes to make the image. And this is spectacular. I love the field. I love the flowers. I love the feel. And you should be very proud. This is a beautiful piece. So kudos to you. Uh, very very well done. Looks like I have a few other images. I'll quickly make a couple comments on those as well. Um, I love the It's a Boy with the with the um, the paint on her tummy. I've done a lot of that in the past where I've had kids finger paint mom's tummy. Uh, super cute. Um, I would almost say that I could, in this case, eliminate the forest, and I would just love to see more of mom in that paint because the paint is more whimsical, and I would just like to zoom in and really get uh, just her face. I also want to mention that that underexposure issue, you can see in her hair lots of chunky pixelation. You've got a color cast going through the center. Um, and again, that can be filters and things, but just be careful. Make sure you're getting that uh, contrast and exposure done well. Uh, the next one is uh, just a silly one. I mean, you're just playing here. You've got her sticking out her tongue and dad uh, just playing along. And again, this is editorial, and I almost would love to see just a tighter shot, crop out all those trees, and just really get in on the fun because that's, you know, to me where the action really is. And the final shot, it looks like it's uh, dad and he's painting mom's tummy. Now this one is editorial, but it works really well with the expanse because in this case you've created foreground, which is the paint can, midground, which is the subject, and that background, that expanse of the home and the grass and everything behind. So on this one, I love seeing all of that. I love the angle. I love everything about this shot because it just has, it, it's almost like something you'd see in a magazine. If that was Demi Moore or something in there, you know, or, uh, or Angelina Jolie or something like that with uh, Brad Pitt. So very cool shot. I love it. I think you've done a great job here. Again, you're using the same actions and tonality quite a bit. I would love to see this traditional color as well. But overall, great images, great sell. And uh, thank you so much for sharing. For those of you who are interested, you can go to sandyputchuniversity.com and check out all of our work there. We do lots of video critiquing. If you're into photography, we'd love to help you grow. Have a great day and keep posting.